Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this series of lectures, we are talking about mnemonics and tricks to remember different complicated processes. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about mnemonic and tricks to understand TCA cycle, okay, which is also known as citric acid cycle. So what is TCA cycle or also known as Krebs cycle? So Krebs cycle or TCA cycle or citric acid cycle, whatever you say, there is a set of mnemonics which will help you not only to understand the intermediates, it will help you to understand the enzymes involved, it will help you to understand the products of TCA cycle. So let us begin and start the timer. So let's start with this process. So first of all, I want you to uh, see one step. And the first step is the Krebs cycle or TCA cycle intermediates. We we'll start with understanding the different intermediates of the TCA cycle or Krebs cycle. And uh, I want you to see one particular image, this particular image. What you can clearly see in this image is that a girl is listening to a song or something and uh, working, I mean, basically reading or writing and doing her homework. So this is a kind of home setup where a girl is listening to a music and solves some math problems or solving something, uh, some questions, right? This is something, a simple visualization help you to understand the intermediates of TCA cycle or Krebs cycle. You know why? Because I'm going to give you a mnemonic for this. You remember the, the, sing, uh, the, the songwriter Sia, it's very famous for multiple songs. So we, we just think of, of Sia here. Sia ki gana sunte sunte fata fat math karo. That is something that we are going to understand and print in our mind. Sia ki gana sunte sunte fata fat math karo. And that's what this girl is doing. She's listening to the songs sang by Sia and uh, doing the math, right? So this is a very simple mnemonic, I believe you can connect to it and you can understand this process well. But although it's starting with Sia S, we are going to modify it a little bit to Cia a uh, little bit here. So uh, we modified Sia S to Cia. That's simple modification that we do uh, for the better fitment of this mnemonic with our intermediates. Sia ki gana sunte sunte fata fat math karo. And you know that all these capital letters signify the first letter of the intermediate names of TCA cycle. Okay, that's how easy it is. So let's move on and let's discuss here. Uh, we'll move to this. So Sia, C I A. C for citrate. Okay, then I for isocitrate. A for alpha ketoglutarate. Alpha ketoglutarate. So CA is done. Citrate, isocitrate, alpha ketoglutarate. Done. Let's move to the next one. That is Gana Sunte Sunte. So Sunte capital S for succinyl coe. Okay, the first Sunte is succinyl coe. The next one, another Sunte is for succinate. Okay, and then what we have Fatafat F. F for fumarate. Okay, fumarate is done for F. Fatafat. Then math M. M for malate. Right, M for malate and karo end in O. O is emphasized, O for oxaloacetate. So these are the intermediates of Krebs cycle. Starting with citrate, isocitrate, isocitrate to alpha ketoglutarate, alpha ketoglutarate to succinyl CoA, succinyl CoA to succinate, succinate to fumarate, fumarate to malate, malate to oxaloacetate. And then the cycle continues. This is how the cycle works. Okay, so you can clearly Visualize Sia ki gana sunte sunte fada fat math karo and you'll understand this intermediates of uh, Krebs cycle. Let's move to the next part. It's again a uh, Krebs cycle, another angle that is the name of the enzymes involved in the Krebs cycle. The name of the enzymes. Again, in this case, I was thinking what I should provide you as a mnemonic and what I found something really scary. A scary, very, very sad Indian doll. You can see the sad Indian doll. So what I put as a mnemonic here is sad desi diff doll. I know it's mean a little bit, but this is uh, something that you can put in your, uh, you know, it, it will stay in your head for quite some time. Sad desi diff doll. And if you understand this sad desi diff doll, uh, what I mean by this, again, sad all capital, then desi d, d, d and s, i is. So all the emphasized or capital letters are the initiator alphabets for the enzymes involved in the process of uh, Krebs cycle. And to understand the name of the enzymes, okay, you need to understand, you need to know the name of the intermediate first. That's why it's very important that you have a clear idea about the intermediates. Otherwise, you cannot 
connect the dots okay so mark this so start with this sad so sad y s so in this case we are not starting with this because what i found out is that in all these cases it's not uh, you know <clears throat> the enzyme name generally starts with the name of the intermediate is converting to right in intermediate is converting right the substrate so enzyme name depends on the substrate for example s yes for synthase so you remember this synthase is the first enzyme rather than citrate because citrate was the uh, the substrate at the beginning citrate is synthesized right by this enzyme so that's why we call them citrate synthase okay citrate synthase is the beginning then a a for aconitase the second enzyme in the krebs cycle and the third one is d d for dehydrogenase now again as i told you we should only remember the type of enzyme it is dehydrogenase or what kind again depending upon which substrate is converting it is generally converting isocitrate so isocitrate dehydrogenase is the enzyme that is involved in here so sad is done then we go with desi two enzymes will be there d and then si d is again dehydrogenase but again in this case the dehydrogenase is acting on the substrate alpha ketoglutarate so alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase is this de4 and si is for succinyl coenzyme synthetase sorry succinyl coenzyme which is also known as succinate thiokinase fine but we remember this as a succinyl coenzyme okay it's producing such so alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase dehydrogenase de and s succinyl coenzyme okay desi is done then we got def there are two enzymes from def one is with d and one is with f so again d means what d dehydrogenase what kind of dehydrogenase again which substrate is acting on succinate so succinate dehydrogenase and then f is for fumarase f is for fumarase also known as fumarate dehydratase uh, fumarase hydratase but actually is known as fumarase in this case so def gives us two particular enzyme uh, succinate dehydrogenase and fumarase and then finally dol gives us the last enzyme d d for dehydrogenase but what dehydrogenase malate dehydrogenase producing again so converting the malate to oxaloic acid so malate dehydrogenase at the end malate into oxaloic acid at the last moment so why dehydrogenase substrate is malate so it's called malate dehydrogenase try to understand and connect this we are, so every single capital letter here is not representing the first alphabet of the enzyme is not representing is representing the type of enzymes it is because you can easily understand what substrate is converting because i already shared the mnemonic for the intermediates once you know what intermediate is there then you know that the name of the enzyme will be the type of enzyme as a suffix and the uh, name of the intermediate or substrate to begin with as a prefix that's how the name is determined okay so if it's converting malate to oxaloacetate and the enzyme type is dehydrogenase think of this malate to oxaloacetate and if the enzyme is dehydrogenase type then the name of the enzyme will be malate dehydrogenase okay that's what we can clearly see here okay now we'll move on to the last slide of the tca cycle or krebs cycle and here we are going to talk about the products of the krebs cycle what are the products involved in the krebs cycle so again in this case i want you to focus here in this particular picture in this image this boy is holding a cup <coughs> written as fanta you know fanta is the cold drink that we all all uh, drink uh, at some point of our life so this particular type of fanta that we are talking about is fanta 131 this is a new product in the market let's think and consider this like this fanta 131 So Fanta one three one. If you remember this, you can understand the different products of the Krebs cycle. And what we know is that uh, rearrange it: F A N T A, F capital N capital A capital. Okay. So F means F A D H two, right? That is a component that is produced after Krebs cycle. One F A D H two, right? Then N for N A D H. How many? Three N A D H. then a for atp how many one atp so 131 represents number of molecules produced so fanta 101 f for fadh2 n for nadh a for atp 131 fadh 
one FADH two, three NADH one ATP. So this ATP is basically produced at the very be beginning. It's not directly ATP which is produced. Uh, the GTP that is produced equivalent to one ATP. So that's why we write ATP in here. But apart from that, the one FADH two and three NADH that is produced will be converted further to you know uh, to produce. And they they'll transfer the electrons and further uh, that. Electron transport chain will give rise to the production of more and more ATPs. And generally, we know for one FADH2, it is generally two ATPs, and for one NADH, it is three ATPs. So there will be nine here, and there will be two here. That's very simple, right? This process is very very simple, and all the sentences are very easy to remember. I believe. I want you to understand this very clearly, and I want to know whether you understood it properly or not. So please comment in the comment section whether you liked it or not. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to this channel, and uh, continue to watch this series of mnemonics and tricks lectures for better understanding. Thank you. Bye.